The NLSS DC400 High Definition Media Decoder with automatic camera discovery and industry standard support makes it ideal for IP surveillance applications. With streaming media support and the ability to store video locally, it allows you to use this in other areas of your business, such as marketing. The multi-view display technology built into the DC400 decoder allows you to display up to 16 images on screen at once. These could be IP cameras, they could be streaming media, or they could be locally stored video. This flexibility further increases the capabilities of this system. Following is a short video which will show you the ease of configuration of the DC400 decoder, starting with the wiring, moving through the configuration on the computer, finally moving on to control. Connection wise, there are only three connectors required. These are power, HDMI, and a network lead. When you push the power button, the decoder will boot up and it will set itself up on your network. The IP address will be gained from your DHCP server or from a router. This would be in the same way as your computer normally would. The progress of this boot up will be displayed on the screen as it starts. Whilst the decoder is finishing booting, we're going to connect an IP video camera to our network so that we have a video feed to show you on the monitor in a minute. This camera is a PoE camera and is connected into the same switch as the decoder. With the camera connected and the decoder just about booted, there we go, we're going to go and discover whereabouts it is on the network so that we can configure it in our own way. We'll go to the CD that came with the decoder and there's a discovery utility on here. We run the discovery utility we hit the scan button and it will look through our network for the decoder. By clicking on the IP address listed in the discovery utility, this will take us to the web browser of the decoder itself. We accept the security certificate and move on to entering the username and password. The default username is superuser and the default password is superuser also. Once we've logged into the decoder, we can configure many settings, but we'll start with the decoder menu. The decoder menu will allow us to configure the general settings of the system, including the name of the device, whether or not we want to put a static address in, and the orientation of the screen. We'll move on from the decoder menu to the camera menu. You can see a camera here. This is the one I plugged in earlier. It's been automatically discovered by the system. We can change the name of the camera and some access details. The decoder is channel based, so we go from the camera menu to the channel menu. We'll see it's automatically populated the camera in as a separate channel. We can change the channel number and we can change the channel name to suit what we want. Also, we can manually create channels in here with video feeds uh, and other streams that we put into the system. We'll just put the camera name in for the model we're using. The decoder is also able to display multiple feeds at a time, such as 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 2x1. They're defined here within the view menu. They're not necessary for basic operation, but if you need to have more advanced configuration, you can do that from within here. That's the decoder fully configured. Now, we could just use it like that, but to show the ease of configuration, we're going to use it with the optional infrared remote control. Here's the infrared receiver. I'm just going to connect that into the decoder. So we'll plug the USB cable in. Okay, with that plugged in, Okay, so the uh, sensor is visible. We're now going to take the remote control. The remote control looks exactly the same as the one from the software menu. And obviously there are a number of buttons on here, but we're just going to concentrate on channel up and down. And you can see, we've just plugged this in, and it's working straight away. So the buttons I'm using on the, uh, the remote control here are these two buttons on the right-hand side, channel up, channel down. We can also select the channel number and the OK button to change directly to the channel. As we select the channel, we'll see the receiver flash red, and we'll see the channel change on the uh, on the, the screen. So there we have it, a fully configured operational next level decoder.